Hi, I'm George Beccoloni, curator of orthoptroid insects here at the Natural History Museum. Charles Darwin is actually one of the world's most famous scientists. He's certainly the most famous biologist in history. He's credited with the big idea of our age, the theory of evolution by natural selection. Charles Darwin spent five years on HMS Beagle, traveling around the coasts of South America, then across the Pacific to Australia. Geology was the main focus of his collecting, but he also collected all other aspects of natural history, ranging from um, plants to insects, bird specimens, etc. He spent most of his life at his home in Down in Kent, and he didn't really collect um, very many specimens when he got back to Britain. Um, but certainly his collecting trip to South America and the Pacific sowed the seeds of the ideas uh, that basically led to the theory of evolution by natural selection. One day when he was um, collecting beetles from an old tree, he pulled off a bit of bark, collected two beetles, one in his right hand, one in his left hand, and then saw a third rare one. So he popped the one in his right hand into his mouth, at which point it ejected an acrid fluid, uh, which burnt his tongue, and he ended up spitting it out and dropping uh, the other beetle that he had. When Charles Darwin was in South America, he got attacked by all kinds of biting flies, especially. And being a good collector, whenever he swatted uh, the horsefly or the sandfly, he would keep the specimen and add it to his collections. So a number of the specimens of biting flies that we have in our collection, uh, collected by Darwin, may actually still contain traces of Darwin's blood. Darwin is credited as being the person who first proposed um, the theory of evolution by natural selection, but actually that's not quite correct. He co-authored the idea with a young specimen collector called Alfred Russell Wallace. This drawer contains some of the beetles that Charles Darwin collected on the Beagle voyage. They're from Patagonia in South America. Um, this one here is actually named after the captain of the Beagle, um, Fitzroy. It's called Fitzroy. And this one here was named after Darwin. It's called Darwiny. I've often wondered which of the two most closely resembles its namesake. 